start off with the way the big caps have been affecting the market negatively. In fact, we have been seeing foreign investors uh, buying up some of those banks. So lots of activity on that front. Uh, give us your view on what played out today. Uh, well, uh, we've seen, yeah, we've seen the foreign investors coming in and they're very interested in the blue chips. So East Africa breweries, Safaricom, Mumia Sugar have been the main movers. And uh, of course, Safaricom as usual, which is the usual suspect. And um, the thing is, we did see um, Mumia's sugar price fall quite, quite a bit. And that was probably why the NSE 20 index uh, recorded a, a fall compared to the Nairobi All Share, All Share Index, which uh, went up slightly by about uh, two points, 0 0.02 points. Mm. Uh, however, we expect as we go you know, the week coming forward, we are going to expect to see more foreign activity. Uh, we've been seeing that all through the last one week. And this means that uh, the political um, uh, the political uncertainty that w had come with the referendum has finally washed off and foreigners mm. are now interested in what's happening. Uh, exactly. Is this going to be moving the markets higher from here onwards? We're above that key 4,500 level. We're starting to see volumes picking up as well, especially as you mentioned on those blue chip counters. But where to from here are we going to be seeing upside momentum? Well, I, th I think um, there, there's two ways to it. First of all, Safaricom, there's issues with Safaricom and the price wars that are going on in the telephony sector. Uh, we also have the KPLC issue and uh, the fact that they are expecting that strike to come through. Uh, but KPLC is also, to an extent, probably overpriced in, in, in the fact that the, price, the share price has gone up substantially over the last uh, one year. And so it, it would probably be hitting uh, a peak now and therefore might not be uh, the sort of uh, share that investors would be interested in pushing up. So mm -hmm. those are the, some of the shares that you know may cause the changes in the NSC 20 index as we go forward. Mm. Oh, well, just taking a look at some of those points that you mentioned, looking at East African breweries, looking at Safaricom as well. You mentioned that imminent strike that is set to start next week. Uh, let's just touch on East African breweries because it has been on the rise over the last couple of sessions. We've been seeing a lot of buying coming through, despite the fact that the regulatory environment in the alcoholic system in Kenya is also changing quite rapidly. Uh, what are investors looking at right now when it comes to East African breweries? Are they seeing growth potential? Well, I think the fact that they finally seem to be cracking the, the, the Tanzania market, uh, they've had issues getting into the Tanzanian market, and uh, I think that is where the positive sentiment is coming from. We also have the Southern Sudan market, which uh, the East African breweries are expected to do very well in. I think the regulate, on the regulatory side, they are not in a very big disadvantage because there's a very little or there are very few investors on the ground who can really take uh, you know advantage of the new regulations and therefore it would be the big players who will come out and probably bring out these uh, brands like Changa and uh, and uh, like it happened with Waragi and mm. Konyagi in Tanzania and Uganda. Well, also just looking at what's been happening on the bond auction front, because regulations uh, were also said to be changing there. Uh, but it seems that government has uh, shelved those uh, new auction rules that basically was going to give leeway to accept bids uh, made above its cutoff rate, but pay out a lower interest rate on them. Uh, your view on this, because the fixed income market the whole of this week, well, prior to uh, the news being released yesterday, was relatively subdued. Well, yeah, yes, we did see the fixed income market, especially after the last bond issue when, price, when interest rates seemed to go up slightly. Um, we saw uh, the secondary market in fixed income take a dip. And I think um, the, th the fact is that uh, the, the lower interest rates have been driving the secondary market in fixed income. And the, 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 there's also the competitive bidding that has been going on and those that have been g winning these bids would like to continue ga holding that advantage. So I think there's quite a few interests in terms of the fund managers and those people who are you know, active in the fixed mm -hmm. income market and therefore for them it is a win in the fact that they have actually, the government has actually bowed to the pressure.
Mm. Uh, Samuel, just looking at some of the stocks that you would be buying during these uncertain times, because you mentioned the price war, you, you obviously mentioned uh, the fact that we could be seeing a strike ensuing next week as well. Which companies are you looking at right now? Because we are starting to see a lot of activity coming through for Safaricom, and that, of course, dragging the overall boss down and that having uh, quite a big weighting. Any other companies that you are looking to right now that are offering value? And, of course, keeping in mind that we are going to be getting those uh, third er uh, quarter earnings coming through from banks next month. Well, I, I think uh, KCB for one, they've just uh, finished a rights issue that uh, was 80% successful. And I think that uh, they've been doing, uh, coming out very strongly with their SNL mortgaging, uh, mortgaging b uh, product. And I think that is going to push them quite, quite well and they're going to augur very well with the investors. I also think that... Um, Housing finance may suffer because of this, because that is actually their area of jur jurisdiction. I also think that in the financials, we should be looking at cooperative bank, which uh, in terms of the agency and the fact that they've gotten into a deal with Zain Kenya, will probably see some increased um, activity. On uh, the other sectors, I think I'd be looking at uh, Stocks like Scan Group. Scan Group has now taken over Ogilvy, and uh, I think that gives them a very, very strong market share in that now they have both their accounts um, for Safaricom and in Kenya, meaning they'll be earning quite a huge chunk of the revenues from the mobile telephony market. 